In this video, I'm gonna tell you the number one reason why people fail with Facebook ads and how to fix it. I'm actually gonna show you a screen recording in just a minute on exactly how to fix it, but the number one reason is poor interest targeting. People I see all the time do not know how to target the right people. They don't have a small enough audience. They're not doing a lot of different things properly. And we're gonna look, and this is a secret technique that I found out. You can actually see people that are advertising to you, you can see why they are advertising to you. You can see the specific demographics that they pick. You can see the type of audience that you're in with them. And one of the common themes, this is another little tip before we get started, is that a lot of people are either doing retargeting because you visited their site, which works extremely well, or they're targeting you because you're similar to a customer list that they have. So let's jump in to Facebook ads and I'll show you how you can see why people are targeting you and how to fix your interest targeting. The first thing I wanted to show you was this neat little trick on how you can basically steal your competitor's targeting information. After I show you this trick, which is just absolutely amazing, I'm gonna show you how to fix your interest targeting. So the first thing is, I'm in my own personal newsfeed, and I can scroll up and down, and I can see all these posts. Now, some of these posts are just natural posts, and some are advertisements. And as you scroll, it's pretty obvious sometimes which ones are advertisements. Like this one, first off, it says sponsored. But as you scroll, it just becomes pretty obvious. That one does look like an advertisement as well. It actually isn't, which is interesting enough. But the thing that we'll do, this little first trick, is to click here and say, click, why am I saying this ad? So first off, you know it's an ad because it says sponsored. And if you ever wonder, well, why are they targeting me? or why is my comp competitor targeting me uh, or this certain demographic, click there, click why am I seeing this ad? So let's look at this. So you're seeing this ad because basically I visited their website. So they wanna reach people who have visited their website previously and people ages 18 or older. So that's their only criteria. Basically, this is remarketing, and I love remarketing. I think it's one of the best ROIs. It is the best ROI on Facebook advertisements. So let's look at another advertisement down below. I saw one right here. Why am I seeing this ad? Workplace by Facebook, a more connected company is a more productive company. That seems really random. Why am I seeing this though? One reason you're seeing this is want to reach people who are part of their audience created based on data provided by DLX. Facebook works with data providers to help businesses find the right audiences for their ads. So it's people age 21 older who live or recently were in the United States. Okay, that's probably not the best targeting. I'd be curious to see what their ROI is on that ad. Let's continue to scroll down and see if we can find some other ads. Thinkific, grow your business with online course. We can help start for free. Now this is interesting. I have an, I have a business and I'm interested in online courses. Why am I seeing this ad? Let's see what their targeting is. One reason you're seeing this ad is they wanna reach people who are similar to their customers. Now I wanna, I wanna highlight this again. They have a customer list already and they've fed that into Facebook and said, hey, I wanna see more people who are similar to my customers. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But they're also said, people that are ages 25 to 54. So if you ever see your competitors' ads, I'd look at that information. What age ranges are they targeting? And you may wanna target the same age ranges. So now let's jump over into Facebook ads and look at how we can actually specify down our interest targeting. So now we're in the Facebook ads manager and let's say we were creating a new campaign here. I'm gonna go, actually a new ad set technically. And we had to build a new audience with new audience in, or use a new audience. How would we do this? So I'll show you what most people do and I'll show you how to fix it. Most people go way, way too wide. And they might say, let's say 25, and I'm doing a fake ad for my performance nut butter company. So they might say people 25 to 65 plus because anybody over 65 loves nut butter. And they may do something like detail targeting includes. One thing I've done before is people that cycle. Cycling, I can't spell today. I can't spell any day, but today's just more obvious. So cycling, and they'd say, you know, they'd say all men and women, that's fine. So that's 21 million people. That is way too broad, but maybe they're smart and they did something even a little bit more specific like performance, let's see if performance, cycling, or maybe even triathlons might be a good one. 
So that's only 5 million people. That's a little bit more narrowed down, still way too broad. So the first thing I would say to do to fix this is let's take this all the way down to 50. And that's still probably a little bit too, uh, too wide of a range. So that, okay, that narrows it down to 4.5 million people. What you can do here is click exclude people or narrow audience. So I like narrow audience and I think that's a very valuable too. So people that like triathlons, there's two different things about this. One, that's way too broad. One thing that you might want to consider is people that like things that people that run triathlons actually use. So maybe there's a type of shorts, maybe there's a type of swimsuit, maybe there's something specific like that. Because I, I know a lot of people that like the idea of running a triathlon, but never have. In fact, I'm willing to bet 4.5 million people in the United States have not run triathlons. So that's the first thing you can do is look at what is something that people that run triathlons actually use and then target the people that have liked those pages. The next thing is you can narrow it. And so, okay, people that like the idea of running triathlons and are also on a paleo diet, let's say. So what I actually need to search is paleolithic and then paleolithic diet. Even though everybody I know calls it the paleo diet, paleolithic diet is the correct Facebook targeting. So now that 4.5 million gets cut in half or more than half. So it's down to 1.9 million people. Still probably a little bit too broad. You might want to think about other ways to narrow it down. As I said, maybe it's instead of doing triathlons, it's looking up something that people that run triathlons like. So maybe Ironman. Let's try Ironman. And that's still probably too broad, but I'm just trying to do a quick video here. Iron Man. Okay, so I think that's the wrong kind of Iron Man. Iron Man Magazine. Now we're talking. Boom, 36,000 people. That's great. So what we can do here is that's maybe a little bit too narrow. I usually try to aim for around 200,000 people. We can say, okay, people that like Iron Man Magazine and are part of the Paleolithic diet or the keto that are interested in ketones. That's a something that they're interested in ketones. They may also be interested in my product. They're also interested in the cyclical ketogenic diet okay that's going up a little bit and so what I'd go through is name all the different types of diets because my product is a nut butter product so not only and it's performance nut butter so it's geared towards athletic people that are also interested in a healthy diet so what I might do instead is because that's only slowly going up I might also say people that are interested in men's health magazine. And now that's starting to be maybe a little bit too broad. Okay. That gets it up to 130,000 people. So I can say people that like Iron Man magazine or men's health magazine and also, and also are part of the cyclic, uh, also interested in the cyclical ketogenic diet, ketones and paleolithic diet. So that's the first thing. So the next thing we're going to go over is actually how to do the next thing we're going to quickly go over is how to upload a customer list and create a lookalike audience. And this is what a lot of very successful Facebook marketers do. They give the data to Facebook and they say, hey, these 1,000 people have already purchased from me. Can you create an audience list that is similar to these 1,000 people? And Facebook says they have a vast amount of information. They say, okay, people in the past that have similar likes to the people on your customer list. Here's a list of a million of them. And then you can start marketing towards them. And you can take that list and you can also narrow it down. So let me quickly show you what that looks like. You're going to go up to here, going to go to all tools, go to audiences, go ahead and leave this page. That's fine. And click create an audience. And a lookalike audience is what you're going to want. So the source, uh, let's go to performance nut butter page, countries, location. Yes, that looks good. Yes. Go to show advanced options here. You can look at some other stuff. So instead of the source just being a page, you can actually click create new and click create a custom audience, create an audience of existing customers. And then you're going to upload a customer file. And this could just be an Excel spreadsheet or... Uh, you can import, import it from MailChimp. I'll, you can actually just copy and paste a bunch of emails that you have. So I've already done this. And so once you're finished, this is what it's going to look like. So I have this lookalike audience here and it's 2 million people. But what I can do, and I'll show you this really quickly as well, is I can take that audience and I can actually 
make it even more selective. So let's go ahead and go here, go back to Ad, Ads Manager. Create a new ad set. So I'm gonna have that big custom lookalike audience that I have. So click used, use a save audience. Oh, actually. Actually, my apologies, click custom audiences. That's uh, something slightly different we can go over in another video. So here's the lookalike audience I have here. And as you can see, 2.1 million people, way too broad. And that's, let's try narrowing it down. Let's go change the age range. So it's already starting to narrow it down. And then I can go through and I can create interest targeting. So maybe this one is, once again, people that are interested in triathlons. So these, this is 400,000 people that are similar to my already existing com customers that are also interested in triathlons. And you can continue to narrow this down further, play with this as you go. But this is a great fix for how to get over the number one mistake that most people make. And that number one mistake is poor interest targeting. I hope that video was helpful. And if you want more information, I actually have a checklist you can get for free. It's in my e-commerce success pack. You can get for free by clicking up here. But if you want even more information, I'm about to launch a Facebook ads course where I dive in deep. It's everything beginners need to know about Facebook ads. And it's specifically geared towards beginners. If you're already a successful Facebook ads marketer, this course is probably not for you. But if you're looking to go from zero to 60 as fast as possible, you may want to check out this course. And like I said, I'm about to launch it. So I'm going to be running discounts on it. You can click up here to find more information about that course. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that subscribe button, make sure you click the like button. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I answer every single comment, every single question that comes in here, I read and personally answer. So thank you again. Check out the checklist, the course, subscribe, and I appreciate you watching this video.